aware also and pointed to the very uh, crucial reality and then they have to be approached uh, to major policy changes at the, the university level, at the institutional level, then I know a very significant question is the purpose of education. Mm -hmm. That shows the climax of alienation that we are experiencing and <laughs> reproducing in the domain of women. We are really forgetful of the purpose and most of us do not have the purpose in mind as he critically pointed. The first purpose is production of good citizens in the democratic country. Very important. And you should have certain ethical things in mind, certain values in mind. He or she should have highly ethical postulates in mind. Should be a committed citizen and should have enough critical consciousness to understand the contradictions existing in society, contradictions getting reproduced in society. One should be able to understand the structures of control, institutions of oppression, processes of marginalization, processes of destruction, all these things which are going on around us. It becomes easy for cheating the whole mass just by one word development. And now much more influentially with the word globalization. In India, we are the age of globalization. We have to do this. Now, you can do any atrocious thing just by saying that no, we are in the age of globalization. Uh, now, language and literature. Uh, uh, an issue, I was there that again, critical intelligence issue. But I have a, a feeling that uh, language language is not to be taught. The language is something to be acquired. <coughs> language is acquired by people. But literature has to be taught. What is there to be taught? It is literary theory. Literature has to be taught with primacy to literary theory. And then anybody who has that kind of attitude and interest in reading literature automatically develops aesthetics. But critical aesthetics will be possible only through theoretical education. Aesthetic appreciation is possible because you have your social uh, context, you have your nurturing of a given type, you have your religion, you have your caste, you have your community, whatever. All such values and passions would go into the making of aesthetics. And by and large, you have a kind of aesthetics which would support the predominant ideology of our times. Largely patriarchal, which is subordinating women, giving no status to women, and women also participate in the process of producing the same ideology. With the result, they don't recognize the contradictions involved in the aesthetics. Aesthetic contradiction becomes clear when a woman teacher is knowledgeable in feminist epistemology. Feminism is an emerging new epistemology. It is generating its own meaning. It's able to detect literature as his literature. It's not her literature as yet. A Dalit is able to uh, reproduce an anti-Dalit literature. And that is called Dalit literature. Dalit aesthetics will become clear only when theoretical understanding is there about the existing literary theory. I think literature has to be taught uh, with a lot of, lot of emphasis on theory relating to literary production. And that is certainly missing. And many, many students who learn literature as neither an organic stratum of spontaneously acquired language and no stratum of theoretical understanding of literature. Literary theory on the one side and then
spontaneously acquired language base on the earth. These two alone will resist alienation process, which is going on in the domain of language and literature education. Conclude, I would say that we have to update ourselves in the domain of our own, in the field where we teach. We have to be really up to date. And then we will really take off because we have acquired a certain level of velocity in the runway of our discipline, then you will automatically take off. Your velocity will allow you to be airborne as interdisciplinarians. And then as interdisciplinarians, you know how disciplines converge with a lot of deeper knowledge. With that knowledge, you have to have incessant dialogue, unending dialogue with computer specialists to get the electronic sophistication facilities available to us in such a way that they help us develop critical consciousness in the minds of students, a real purpose in the minds of students. On the one side, they become really competent people in the area concerned, and on the other, they become very good citizens with ethical values and passions. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, for this, we come to the end of uh, this uh, session, morning session. Uh, we thank Professor Gurukul for sharing his uh, ideas and also for prompting us to think and to get confused. Uh, thank you. Wait for certain announcements.